Democratic presidential hopeful Barack Obama on Saturday told supporters he no longer favors slashing NASA's budget, declaring that the United States cannot cede our leadership in space. You know, one of the areas where we're in danger of losing our competitive edge is in science and technology, and nothing symbolizes that more than our space program. You know, when I was... I, I've written about this in my book. Uh, I, I grew up in Hawaii, and I still remember sitting on my grandfather's shoulders uh, as some of the astronauts were brought in after the, their capsules had landed in the middle of the Pacific. Uh, and I could just barely see him. I was waving at an American flag. And I remember my grandfather explaining to me, this is what America's all about. We can do anything when we put our mind to it. Yeah. We can do anything when we put our mind to it. And, and that was what the space program described, that sense of possibility and, and always, you know, reaching out to new frontiers. You know, when, when I was growing up, NASA inspired the world with achievements that we're still proud of. And today we have an administration that sets ambitious goals for NASA without giving NASA the support it needs to reach them. As a result, NASA's had to cut back on research, trim their program, which means that after the space shuttle shuts down in 2010, we're going to have to rely on Russian spacecrafts to keep us in orbit. So let me, be, let me be clear. We cannot cede our leadership in space. That's why I'm going to close the gap, ensure that our space program doesn't suffer when the shuttle goes out of service. We may extend an additional shuttle launch. We're going to work with Bill Nelson to add at least one more flight beyond 2010 by continuing to support NASA funding, by speeding the development of the shuttle's successor, by making sure that all those who work in the space industry in Florida do not lose their jobs when the shuttle is retired, because we can't afford to lose their expertise. But more broadly, we need a real vision for the next stage of space exploration. And to help formulate this vision, I'm going to reestablish the National Aeronautics and Space Council so that we can develop a plan to explore the solar system a plan that involves both human and robotic missions and lists both international partners and the private sector. And as America leads the world to long-term exploration of the moon and Mars and beyond, let's also tap NASA's ingenuity to build the airplanes of tomorrow and to study our own planet so we can combat global climate change. Under my watch, Under my watch, NASA will inspire the world once again and make America stronger, and it's going to help grow the economy right here in Brevard County and right here in Florida. That's what we're going to do. The campaign of Republican rival John McCain has said he supports going to the moon by 2020, but he has also called for a freeze on discretionary funding, which NASA supporters say could cripple Constellation. Obama has indicated he would revise his space policy by announcing last week his campaign was talking with former astronaut Buzz Aldrin, who was called in to re-examine some of NASA's moon plans. Obama said, The one thing that I've said consistently when it comes to the Florida coastline is that as dependent as this state is on tourism, we've got to proceed with extreme caution when it comes to anything that has an impact on that extraordinary treasure. To continue the conversation, join us at Space Vidcast live chat room by going to www.spacevidcast.com slash live or subscribe to our videos on YouTube and iTunes by searching for Space Vidcast.